Hello again, everyone. Um, it's me again, Kuya Ig. Um, I'd like to say thank you for um, following my um, YouTube channel and uh, patiently and, you know, uh, organically uh, watching this uh, video post. Um, I, I hope uh, you can extend your help by way of, you know, um, sharing this uh, YouTube channel to your, you know, to your circles of friends, relatives, right? Please, um, I am trying to hit 2,000 subscribers before year 2020 ends, right? Okay, I, I hope I can, you know, hit this target. For now, I only have 1,200 plus subscribers and I'm trying to you know hit 1k that okay so uh, please uh, share this YouTube channel if, if you find it uh, useful I do have some posts on my personal activities right I do have some mukbang with my um, CCS faculty family and I also have some videos on my dogs, right? My koi, because I'm a koi lover, by the way. And uh, with my grandson also, my second generation, um, BB Sion, okay? So, um, today I am going to share you another um, programming problem. It's, we're going to discuss it and uh, eventually we'll try to create program out of the problem and uh, after that we'll try to um, manually simulate it right because it is quite um, logical for us to to know the screen output of our uh, program by way of manually doing it or simulating it right and um, hopefully um, um, I'll be able to discuss it clearly and uh, after such, we'll try to run or execute our program to our online compiler. And let's see. Okay? Let's see. Uh, honestly, the, the problem is very simple. Okay? It's somewhat like, uh, you know, we'll be, we'll be using conditional statements, conditions, right? Uh, we'll be trying to create programs to cal that will calculate profit or loss, right? So, uh, we tend to be, you know, uh, or business uh men in here okay so uh i am going to share my um notepad we'll be creating programs to calculate profit or loss right <coughs> if for example um the cost of the product is 2000 and we are selling it at 2,500 and along the way we'll be making profit about 500 pesos right so simple and when we say <coughs> I'm sorry <coughs> product cost uh, I'm referring to the production cost and the labor right so that's it and if our exa for example our product cost is 9,000 and we are selling that item at the same amount then no profit no loss that's it very simple okay so here um <clears throat> i declared three variables in here um cp okay uh, sp and uh, amount okay. and uh, actually cp stands for cost price the production cost okay and uh, sp stands for the selling price uh, when the product is done and ready for the market then we'll be selling it at a certain price okay and the amount uh, actually refers to the difference between the CP and SP. Okay, so it's very simple. Our program will ask for the cost price or the production cost, and then eventually it will ask for the ceiling price. All right, and uh, we'll check if right our SP or the ceiling price is greater than the cost price. If that is the case, then we'll be making money. That's profit. Else, if our CP cost price the production cost is greater than the selling price then we're losing right and if both are equal then 
break even, no profit, and no loss. For example, let's do it, right? Now here, um, assuming, right, the the production cost entered by the user is uh nine thousand, right, and then the ceiling price entered by the user is um for example nine thousand five hundred, okay. So, uh, what's next? Condition, right? The condition says what? Is is P? Are you following? Is P greater than CP? Is our is P which is nine thousand five hundred greater than CP which is nine thousand? So then the condition is what? True. Now since the condition is true, what's next? Get inside, right? Get inside and execute. What is inside? Competition. EMT is equal to SP, which is actually the ceiling price, minus the CP, which is actually the uh, cost price. And then the result is 500, and this 500 will be stored to EMT, right? And uh, what's next? Our program will then exit and meet return zero. Okay? Now, uh, do we need to check the condition in here? No, because uh, this is one whole if statement. Okay? It will just exit. Alright. Now here. Um, if this condition is false, then do not perform this one. Then check for another condition. If still the condition is false, do not perform and do this one. That's it. Alright? So, since the condition is true, um, uh, our program will then display what? Our program will display uh, profit is equal to 10,500. Right? Now, uh, assuming assuming uh, the, the production cost in third is uh, <clears throat> 800 for example and then the the ceiling price is uh, the ceiling price is um, for example 650 right so then it moves down to the condition is the ceiling price which is uh, 650 greater than the cost price which is 800 the condition is what false since the condition is false do not perform this one and move to the next condition another condition says right another condition says um, is the production cost which is 800 greater than the ceiling price which is 6500 the condition is true now since the condition is true perform these statements all right and the statement says what okay the statement says what uh, amount all right emt is equal to cp production cost minus sp good as saying what a uh, cp which is uh actually 800 all right minus 650 that's that is how much uh, 150 okay and this 150 will be stored to what will be stored to emt and then display this one okay so what is the result the result is um loss equal is 150 that's it okay now if for example the the production cost is equal to 800 and then the ceiling price is equal to 800 also uh, the first condition is false of course all right is 800 all right 800 greater than 800 this one okay so the condition is false. 
and it moves down in here all right it moves down in there and then uh another checking of condition is oh, sorry is production cost right uh greater than selling price again the condition is false now since the condition is false in here and in here the last part is to display this one so it will display what um, it will display um, no profit no loss break even okay so these are actually the three possibilities of this particular program that we are trying to simulate it um, manually okay now uh, we'll try using our online compiler and let's see if our manual simulation is correct if um, you know the behavior of if else statement is properly executed through manual simulation okay so let's see for example 800 our production cost and our selling price is also 800 then no profit no loss right another example 900 9500 okay so um, our production cost is 900 and uh, we sell it at 9, 950 then along the way we're making 50 pesos as hour oh, I'm sorry 9500 I mean <laughs> sorry an example uh, Uh, our production cost is 9,000, right? And then our ceiling price is 9,500. Then we'll be making money, about 500 pesos. Okay. Um, another example. What is that? Here, 8,650. Okay. So our production cost is 800, and we sell it at 650. So within the bound, we are losing 150 pesos, right? So which is true. Okay. So um, this is a very simple program, a very simple problem. But then um, I, I am hoping that uh, you can get uh, you know something good in here, and um, um, hopefully you can use these techniques in your uh, programming um, journey. Okay. So, um, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, thank you so much for um, following my um, YouTube channel. Uh, God bless us. God is good. Goodbye for now.